all new reaction tonight to new developments in the I-77 express lane project. Here's what we know so far. That project could still open as early as this year with toll lanes, but the North Carolina Secretary of Transportation was in town today announcing options for the project's future. Those include negotiating better terms with the toll contractor, converting some toll lanes to general purpose lanes, and using the shoulders as lanes during rush hours. NBC Charlotte's Kendall Morris joins us live now. And Kendall, do we know how soon these options could be a reality? Well, some of these ideas, such as hardening the shoulders during rush hour, could be in place as early as next summer. But other ideas could take a little more time and funding. Through the construction and congestion on I-77, the drive between Iredell and Mecklenburg counties right now can only be described as... You never know what you're going to get when you get on there. I think Forrest Gump said it best, you know, a box of chocolates. Yeah, today it was nuts. The project could open as early as this year with questions as to its impact on traffic. Secretary of Transportation Trogdon spoke to the Charlotte Regional Transportation Planning Organization, explaining options for the project's future. One of the most viable alternatives converting one toll lane to a free lane from exit 23 in Huntersville to exit 28 in Cornelius and adding another free lane from exit 28 to exit 36 in Mooresville. But the option would have to score high enough to be made a funding priority by the state. Even then, it may not be a reality until 2025. Some local elected officials say it's a step in the right direction. Now at least we have some options that I feel like are good. Not great, not perfect, but good. So that's an improvement. Others are holding back judgment till the project opens. Let's let it operate and then let's review where we are in the context of, of no longer speculating, but what actual operations are like. Governor Cooper, who has been a critic of the contract, says in part in a statement, today's recommendations are a good first step and I encourage legislative leaders to support these changes instead of defending this bad contract that will hurt working families. And over the next six months, NCDOT hopes to improve the project by negotiating toll caps, adding frequent user discounts, and allowing medium-sized trucks in the express lanes. Reporting live, Kendall Morris, NBC Charlotte. So many things to consider with that project, Kendall. Thank you.